1 billion XRP did not leave escrow this time. Is Ripple done with regular withdrawals? Now, this is interesting here. Today is October 3rd, and on Saturday, the first day of the month, when over the past few years, it has been traditional for Ripple to unleash a whopping billion XRP, the withdrawal did not take place. Now, I think, if I remember correctly, a lot of that was uh, them just moving that billion around, not necessarily selling it. These withdrawals were made from 55 escrows set up by Ripple, which held 1 billion tokens each, started in 2018, and were meant to finish at some point this year. When they only started, the XRP community became afraid these releases would keep the price down, and even started a petition to stop further withdrawals of XRP. Now, let's go back to uh, 2019 very quickly. 2019, uh, Brad Garlinghouse says, I believe it was on a, on a uh, CNN interview or something, that the company, Ripple, had to sell massive amounts of XRP in the bear market to remain profitable. And that pissed a lot of people off. Why? Because that affects the value of your bags if you hold them, if they dump a bunch of it, even if it's for them to run for their business. But the interesting thing is, is that in a bear market, if you're holding all through it, does it really matter that much? Is it actually more valuable for Ripple to have done that and to stay profitable? The short-term loss from the last bear market that you had, was that as bad as what would happen if Ripple became unprofitable and had to start laying people off and cutting people and all that stuff? Uh, well, I mean, not you know, with a knife, but very interesting to think about. Uh, I, I don't think necessarily we're going to see after the XRP Ripple case is done or a SEC case is done, I don't know if we're going to have to see them continue to selling off uh, even in a bear market. So I think it's going to go to a really good place.